students today we are going to discuss on how the tris approach could be used for generating the concepts in a new product development so tris is nothing but inventive method of problem solving we'll see today what is the approach is and how systematic it is to make us to reach the best innovative solutions for the problems here the trace is initially invented by russians by name al shular and his colleagues in the year 1946 to 1985 it has been developed and has been named as international system of creativity so the acronym of trace has come out from this russian uh, language and it has been used by us as a theory of inventive problem solving the trace is nothing but is a systematic approach for understanding and solving problems allowing clear thinking and generation of innovative ideas so this trace depends on two main principles the first and foremost principle is somebody sometime somewhere would have already solved your problem or anyone similar to that so the creativity what we are going to use it here is to find out the solution and adapting it to the current problem the second principle on which the tris depends is do not accept contradictions try to resolve them so the main findings of this systematic innovation are the same problems and solutions appear and again again across different industries but most organizations are tends to reinvent the wheel rather than looking back and from their experiences or from the experiences of their competitors the most powerful solutions are the things which have been successfully implemented by the previous designers and trying to take them as a references and eliminate the compromises which have been done there and the trade offs there are only a small number of possible strategies for overcoming all such contradictions the most powerful solutions also make maximum use of responses and resources most organizations are highly involved and towards solving problems by adding things rather than making the current things work more efficiently or effectively and transforming the things viewed as harmful into something useful the technology evolution trends follow highly predictable path so let us understand about how this particular problem solving method is whatever the the problem it is there in front of us first we required to make that to be as a specific problem so your specific problem first needs to be transformed into a tris general problem in order to make that to be transformed to tris general problem what we could uh, understand is going through the tris database trying to understand the principles and trying to see like uh, what the contradictions have been followed by them in a previous success stories and trying to make our problem to be a bit general problem of tris and after that that general problem we require to find out the solution from this the things which have been available in the database of trees after getting the trees general solution then we'll try to again look back to our problem to what extent it is similar to that and where it is slightly different in which portions it is different that alone we require to see and understand the analogy of that solutions of trees what has been given from the databases and thereafter trying to see how that particular analogy will help us to come out with the different solutions to our specific problem so that could be taken as trees specific solutions for our own problem so the cycle goes like this first you take out your specific problem then try to convert that into a trees general problem and from there you try to identify the solutions for that particular general problem which has been previously solved by the people and take that particular solution as a general solution from the trees and try to give your own brainstorming and creativity skills to adapt to your specific problem so generalizing the problems and solutions that is very important task here and at the same time eliminating the contradictions so this trees it recognizes two categories of contradictions one is technical contradictions other one is physical contradictions 
what is going to be technical contradictions sometimes we may feel something is better to be followed but there might be some worsening factor even i wanted to improve this there is some part of sacrificing needs to be done in other positive thing so for example when something gets better something else automatically gets worse let us see the product gets stronger but the weight increases so here product gets stronger is a good sign but when i am looking for increasing the strength of the product i may have to increase the weight or something like that but will it be possible to maintain the weight and try to improve the strength so this is something like a contradiction so that type of contradiction is only what we are naming it as a technical contradiction another example what i want to say service is customized to each customer it's excellent every customer if you are going to take it very utmost care and you are able to provide customized service to the customer that is a great so very good thing but service delivery system gets complicated when you wanted to go and cater the requirement of each and every customer definitely your delivery system becomes very complex so that is like a bad thing how do we come across how do you make this to be sorted out this is again contradiction and training is comprehensive so whenever you take uh, people inducted into the industry or inducted to uh, some sort of uh, Uh, the organization will try to give training but at the same time we don't like to lose their manpower time we recruited them to use them for our own direct requirement but this training is a thing what is required essential for the people to directly jump onto the projects when you want to give it the training always we prefer to give like a comprehensive training but if you go for comprehensive training it demands lot of time from the employees to attend but that's a good to have comprehensive training but will it be possible no we cannot keep employees to be away from their assignments for long time the key technical contradictions are summarized in the trees contradiction map second type of contradiction is called physical contradiction these are the situations in which an object or system suffers contradictory opposite requirement software should be complex but simple it is like a, very much contradictory in a physical manner you would like to develop a software which has to be complex having lot many features but you want to say that it is it should be easy to learn coffee should be hot to be enjoyed hot coffee but cool to avoid burning the drinker of course we require again find out some sort of optimal situation where we could uh, balance these two an umbrella should be large to keep the rain off but when i am not going to use that or when i am going to be in a crowded place if it is small i can easily make that to be folded and not to disturb others how to operate that particular thing will be easy so umbrella should be large but mannerably i like to have it as a smaller one <coughs> these physical contradictions can be solved with the trees separation principles the separate separate requirements according to the basic categories of space time and scale let us see about the trees features what are the features they are having listed out by the previous designers and the inventor of this trees and made the specific features to 39 number which are including weight of moving object weight of secondary object stationary object length of moving object length of stationary object area of moving object area of stationary object going on like this speed of object force pressure shape stability quantity of substance loss of time energy temperature strength reliability going on ease of manufacture ease of operation ease of repair device complexity difficulty of detecting productivity as a whole if you just look at any product when you wanted to develop needs to come across these features at any cost right let us see that after formulating this particular 39 features there is a one more table what request be prepared is need to have two parameters one is about what is the strengthening parameter that you are looking in your product to be designed or developed what is the worsening factor that you require to be identified these two has to be identified let us see step by step the process 
this is a snapshot which is taken uh, from chris40.com where we could directly give what is the strengthening factor what is a worsening factor automatically you will be getting the principles which could be utilized by you to develop a systematic way of inventing the new ideas this is a table which will be giving you uh, based on the two contradictory uh, features you will be able to identify at the intersection of this particular table so what principles will be more appropriate to be followed to get solutions at a span of time period by implementing a good brainstorming application these are all the 40 principles which have been developed by our schoolers and his team in ussr you could see the uh, way of uh, implementation segmentation this is one particular process activity taking out asymmetry merging anti weight dynamics another dimension mechanical vibration phase transmission transitions okay inert atmosphere copying okay material change mechanics substitution okay and you could see like even continuity of useful action periodic action okay so these are all been identified as a suitable principles which will help us to go in a very systematic way to derive new ideas let us see one example i just wanted to take it and again explain to you in detail how this trace could be deployed here people are looking for a new structural material for bulletproof jacket statement is bulletproof vest should be strong but not heavy you are able to see the contradiction it should be strong but weight is not to be more so we are able to identify two parameters which are contradicting each other so those parameters are listed out in the step 1 itself identify the contradictions strength and also weight so strength needs to be improved and weight needs to be portion step 2 what is saying the strength is identified as the 14th parameter and weight is identified as the second parameter and we are going to search from the matrix this matrix with 39 by 39 and trying to take out uh, 14th uh, row and uh, second column and you will identify uh, the principles which could be more appropriate for you to use it for developing your solutions so that particular things what is giving the answer here is for this combination of improvement of strength and reduction of weight it is saying the principles as principle 1 principle 26 principle 27 and principle 40 out of 40 principles it is showing that these four principles will be more appropriate to start your decision making and designing one is segmentation second one is copying third one is cheap short living fourth one is composite materials let us see how this could be deployed in your product development first let me say segmentation what is segmentation based on this trace database first i need to understand your problem is taken as the bulletproof vest which is been made which our our idea is to reduce the weight and improve the improve the strength it is not the way how we need to take out our idea is to strengthen but worsening factor needs to be weight this way we will try to take it out divide an object into independent parts one good uh, suggestion what if you want to do in segmentation replace examples are given as replace mainframe computer by personal computers replace a large truck by a truck and trailer are able to understand segmentation dividing the driving and the driven use a work breakdown structure for a large product or project so the way how it has been explained what is meant by segmentation in your trace database to make you to understand how you need to proceed further another one make an object easy to disassemble this is another way of again understanding the segmentation use of temporary workers on short term projects flexible manufacturing systems modular furnitures and offices or container shipment of course this particular example will not work out for our uh, specific domain of uh, bulletproof vest increase the degree of fragmentation or segmentation empowerment segmentation of decision making distance learning virtual office or remote working of course if it is going to be like a functionalities or operational relevant things it might be suitable so from this what we could understand and we will try to arrive to the direction of deriving the ideas is 
we can consider several different coverings for different parts of the body it could be for pants vest etc rather than a one single piece shoes are you able to understand wherever you require good strength there we can use that particular material where you require to have different type of uh, not need to be having like a that much stronger we could go for some other material and no need to be like a single shoe it could be like a pieces separate pieces consider different materials to cover the critical areas such as chest and head each taking advantage of specific properties that would be customized for their different applications again another thing is mentioned like you can choose the different materials also one is about segmentation into different parts other one is about using different materials this particular way you are able to get how do you need to focus on getting the different ideas coming to the second principle what is meant instead of an unavailable expensive fragile object use simpler and inexpensive copies so rather than looking about the things which are not available or not to be followed up or very expensive why don't we think about using simpler and inexpensive copies so copy what is available there in other field so replace an object or a process with optical copies are you able to understand you can see where it is doing good and try to observe it and again try to take it for your application for that copy the design of abbreviated scuba driving wet suits for use as a bullet proof garment are you able to understand that the thing which is used for swimming scuba diving that material what is been used there can we use that for bullet proof garment if it is so you can think about it as a copy charity uh, principle next principle is cheap short living objects replace an inexpensive object with a multiple of inexpensive objects comprising certain qualities such as service life for instance means when you want to improve the strength of that particular portion try to dump with the material in addition to what actually you require with a lot of inexpensive material so that it may withstand the weight or load what is going to act on that okay so for this what is the observation that we could make this principle because again it may add weight and it may again like give some sort of additional material to be acquired or something like that so sometimes it is not necessary to follow every principle we could see these particular four principles are going to give guidance and direction for you to choose for your specific problem so here for this particular bullet proof vest this particular uh, principle has not been taken further the fourth principle is called as composite material what is explaining change from uniform to composite material excellent rather than using like a normal traditional other clothes whatever is available go for composite material composite epoxy resin carbon fiber golf club shafts are lighter even though that has been already been seen in some other places of course it could be little connected with the copying also stronger and more flexible than metal same for eight plane parts fiber glass surf boards are lighter and more controllable and easier to form into various shapes than wood also so with this observation from the trees database what we are going to see for lighter weight stronger weight the use of composites is an active area of research polymers like kevlar reinforced with carbon nano fibers are currently being investigated as a strong lightweight alternative to steel for structural materials these observations which have been seen from different applications could be chosen as for our specific problem also as a solution and now today it has become like a kevlar with reinforced with this carbon nano fibers and also some sort of little different uh, research which has made like most of our uh, military and police personnel are using this bulletproof vest in a very sophisticated manner and also safer way so with this we could say like trees is a thing which is able to give structured way of thinking clear way of going forward in identifying the better solutions for our existing problems and trying to solve those problems with previous knowledge which has been observed by our designers in solving similar type of problems previously and trying to 
avoid wherever the contradictions are coming out, resolving the contradictions and trying to get the solutions for that. So with this, I'm able to say that we understood the TRIS implementation for concept development process, which is very much essential in our new product development.